If Jesus taught that it's okay to eat things that are ritually unclean, that are impure, and that are against Torah, if he taught against Torah, there'd be a number of things that would happen. First of all, he would be considered a sinner and not a savior according to Christian standards. Because if you teach against the Torah, you are in violation against the law of God, which makes you, by definition, a sinner. And so that completely throws out the whole idea of the sinless, spotless lamb. The second is, a voice said, get up, Peter, kill and eat. So what did Peter say? He said, no, Lord, no, Lord. For I have never eaten anything impure or ritually unclean. That should tell you that Jesus never taught that. Peter didn't know about that if Jesus taught that. Did he say, well, sure, I know. I know it's okay to eat these things because Jesus taught me that for a long time. I lived with him for three and a half years. I know his teaching for sure. No doubt about it. I know what Jesus' teaching is. I know what the truth is here. So obviously Jesus didn't teach that. That's number two. Number three is if he taught against Torah, he said, yeah, well, you know, it says in the, in the law of God that you're not supposed to eat it this, that, and everything else. Ah, you know, just throw that out because that doesn't work anymore. You know what would happen? You understand what would happen? They would crucify him there and then. He would be charged and he would be before the Sanhedrin, the court, and he would be condemned. And there would be an uproar. There would be a riot. It never happened. Why? Because that's not what he taught. They were looking for ways to crucify Jesus and they couldn't find anything against him. So they had to bring up false witnesses against him, remember? If he taught that it's okay to violate the law of God and he taught people to violate the law of God by just eat your pork and your lobster and your clams and everything else, it's okay, don't worry, for certain. That would be one of the greatest things that they would have against him and say, we don't need any false witnesses. We have a witness right here that he taught against Torah. And according to that, if he's a prophet and he, and he speaks against Torah, if he speaks things that are not true, that's it for him. But they never, ever brought that accusation against him. They never even tried to make that up. That kind of accusation was not even brought forward by the false witnesses, let alone any true witness. Why? Because it did not happen. 